afternoon guys today i am starting off the video with the car on the driveway today i'll be dropping the chest off to get detailed real quick but for now i need to get rid of these clear coat peels with a gurney just like how i did it on this side if you guys remember harry from stray element he's going to detail my car real quick i'm prepping out for hot impa nights as i will be parking out with house of stance i was not intentionally doing shows this year because of how bad the pain is but we're going to try polish it up fix it up uh, the best we can and see how shiny the chaser can get i hope the camera shows you but i have some contamination on the paint and it's very unmotivating to wash the car it's very chalky and when i wash the car with the mitt not so often that the black contamination go goes away so it's very frustrating when I wash this car. So hopefully a quick paint correction and kind of polish will help the Chaser bring out its white color. And while it gets detailed, I do have one surprise mod for the Chaser. If you guys have seen my Lancer back in the day, you might know what I'm talking about, but I haven't had this for a long time. And I told myself, you know what? Why not doing a Chaser as well? It will be done while it's getting detailed. You guys will see, just hang on. Okay, let's try get rid of some of these clear coat. Gonna gunny it down. looking a lot better than before I got most of it off but there is no promises that it won't show up again also touched up this side and going it off um, a few more when I show you guys I am being fully transparent with you that not all cars are perfect not mine is perfect either you can make a car on the internet look super clean but in real life majority of people are dealing with the same shit I am so no, a detail will not solve all my issues with the clear coat peeling off, but we're gonna try attack the areas where the paint is still good. And if there are some clear coat peeling, we're just gonna try avoid that area. Hoping to get the car resprayed soon, maybe later this year. We don't know, we might see a new color next year, but for now, I just want to fully express the white color while I have it before I change to a whole different color. You guys want to see magic? Oh, magic trick. The car is done, guys. Here it is. The car is so shiny, guys. This is the finished product. Quarters are so shiny. This was the bad side where things were peeling off and look at the finish. This is probably the shiniest the Chaser has ever been in my ownership because honestly, no one, no one would want to touch the Chaser for detail because of the clear coat peel. But Harry said yes and we did our best and the result is immaculate. Here is the roof. It had the black stuff, but we got rid of a lot more. Guys, do me a favor and hit up DNA Lab Detailing. I'll put it in the description below. Give a follow on Instagram because at the results, I can't ask for any better. Like, I did not expect this result. Damn, guys, what do you think? The chaser is all cleaned up. It's looking so good. I can't believe it right now. I can just stare at this all day. And I did say there is one mod that I was going to show you guys that um, I've had this on my previous car but it was done wrong, it was falling off but I'm going to get to the bottom of it. You guys ready? This is something that I was debating to do on the Chaser because I honestly can't imagine a Chaser with this mod but it turned out pretty good. I like it. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to show you right now. You guys ready? Yo, how sick is that? What do you guys think? Underglows on a Toyota Chaser. Bro, what a vibe. There are so many different modes. This is just one of those. You can have different colors. 
So it's controlled all in this app. I can change colors. There's blue, green, red, white. You get what I mean. And then you got the RGB. You got about 200 different modes of this. And there is just one more that is light related. You guys can guess because I'm opening up my interior. And yes, I did get some interior lights. Oh, bro, it looks good. This you can also connect to the same app for the lights and you can control off your phone. So I got the front and the back done. So all four got lights. That's a vibe or what? Let's get in the chaser for a sec. Yo, this is a vibe right now. Looks like uh, Too Fast Too Furious when Paul Walker was driving the Skyline. Got vans on right now, not Converse. But damn, it is a vibe here. Guys, please also do me a favor and hit up House of Illuminate. I'll put it in the description below. Give him a follow. If you want yours done too, and if you're down in Sydney, he can do it. Manifest it till I'm living large High ballin' cause the sky fallin' I'ma catch a little beast though I ain't worried about your little okay. No, she easy as a free throw She wanna hold me like ransom Just cause I'm young and I'm handsome Tell all these to have a seat I know that they cannot stand them Burn it and roll me another one I can say that the car right now is where I pretty much want it to be. I've always told myself that, you know, I wanted to have three piece wheels, bag it, and well, the underglows, I've always had it on mind, whether people like it or not. What do you guys think? Because I, I love it, man. It looks so good. If you see this video and you are heading down to Hot Impa Nights, feel free to come say hi. And if you are a subscriber to the channel, let me know. I'm more than happy to say hello. You can find me at the House of Stand stage because that's who I'll be packing out with. Or you might find me hanging around in the incomplete booth because they will be there too. For now, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Going to a photo shoot with Next Level Media. Um, just because the car is pretty much detailed, bagged, and got underglows now. So why not do a photo shoot before the show? And yeah, I'll see you guys. We are back home. It is the next day it is around four o'clock right now before we head out to the shoot i do have some stickers here i have this to install in the interior this is from incomplete samurai and i got lots of stickers that i've been holding on and haven't put them on the chaser yet if you guys want stickers from incomplete use my code oreo double zero reo and get your five percent or ten percent off now discount man i honestly can't get over how good the chaser looks right now on the driveway oh my god this is drive height right now and it already looks so good it's super clean on daytime so if the stickers i'm going to keep going with the spine and maybe add one on the front This is the spine. As you can tell, I have lost sunlight. It was not a good idea to do it at the end of the day. Top tip, make sure you're doing this on a leveled floor. Right now, my it's, it's like a downhill. <laughs> so there may be things here that I've installed a bit crooked, but I don't know. <laughs> Top tip, I did stuff up one sticker, the Midnight Runners one. But this is what I got. The holographics look sick, man. Look at that. See where that car went up that way? Yeah. Holy shit. That's a kill your raises. Oh, do we have a tunnel? We have a tunnel.
turn back the other way. Perfect, you're on. Head out in the spot. <laughs> Made it. Alright guys, arrived at the first destination. This location is sick. It was a bit sketchy on the arrival. I'm getting in that driveway. City views, man. Damn. Today I got next level media here. So what's up, bro? Yeah, what's up? So, <laughs> guys, follow him. It's me. He takes some good shots. That's why I got him out here tonight. And yeah, the chaser looks so good, man. Lost words. Listen to me as I say Listen to me as I Yo man, we are really at the city right now We are on our second location This is crazy right now I'm literally on the pathway of this building, dude. There's no way in chance that I could get up here without the bags. I don't know how static boys do it, but no way in here on this one. Get a Angles boy. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> All for the Angles. That's too good anything for the photo. They turn off the lights. Yo, this is Nelson, by the way. Nice. Say hi. <laughs> the guy with the Angles, huh? Yeah, up there. <laughs> up there. <laughs> We're gonna go to our third location now, but we just found one just down there, so we'll see. Oh, it is kind of stressful because um, hopefully no security guards or any police come by um, because, yeah, can't really uh, put your car up here and shit, so I'm running the risk. Some of you might ask, why why do a photo shoot and why do you get other people to take photos for you? Um, it's because they have a different vision and I like to see other people's work and what they see through their eyes and what they can get out of the photo. Today I got Next Level Media. He's gonna take some shots. And yeah, as I said, photo shoots are the time where I just sit back and just, you know, look at the car, see how far I've gone, see if there's anything that I may want to change. but. So far man, this is as far as I go with the chaser. I'm pretty happy with where it is right now. Um, got through so much this year and it's only it's only May. And yeah, we're bagged, it's detailed, it's ready for home for nights. Um, and I guess any other show that I may go to. So yeah, the main reason why to get another photographer to take shots of your car, even though you can do it yourself, is to see their vision of what they can see from your car. That's the whole reason why. <laughs> <laughs> 